pharmaceutical regulation of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, is one of the critical issues for developing viral vector-based medicines. This lesson will introduce Japanese pharmaceutical regulations of engineered viral vectors for medical use. This diagram outlines the flow of the vector from production, administration to the patient, and possible discharge from the patient to third parties and the environment. There is an international framework for the risks associated with GMOs when they are released into the environment. To address internationally the environmental issues related to biological diversity, including the usage of GMOs, 196 nations as of 2021, have concluded or signed the Convention on Biological Diversity, which is the first global agreement to cover all aspects of biological diversity. The Cartagena Protocol, based on the Convention on Biological Diversity, aims to ensure the safe transboundary movement, transit, handling and use of GMOs produced by modern biotechnology which may have an impact on biological diversity. The Cartagena Protocol was entered into force on September 11, 2003. The Cartagena Protocol requires the parties to consider the necessity of the standard of handling of GMOs and, if necessary, to establish the standard. In 2003, the Japanese government established the Act on the conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity through regulations on the use of living modified organisms, known as the Cartagena Act, for the handling of the GMOs, as the domestic collateral law for the Cartagena Protocol. The Cartagena Law and its related legislation set rules on how GMOs should be used, and these rules must be followed. This slide shows the purpose and scope of the Cartagena Act. The purpose of the law is that for the conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity in cooperation with other nations, the law aims to secure precise and smooth implementation of the protocol by taking measures to regulate the use of GMOs in Japan. GMOs shall mean an organism that possesses nucleic acid or a replicated product thereof, obtained through use of any of the following technologies. Processing nucleic acid extracellularly for the purpose of introducing the nucleic acid into cells, viruses or viroids to transfer or replicate the nucleic acid. Fusing cells of living organisms belonging to different taxonomic families. Examples of GMOs of the Act are genetically modified bacteria, genetically modified animals, genetically modified plants and genetically modified viruses. In the case of genetically modified cell products using viral vectors, if viral vectors remain, genetically modified cells themselves are not covered by the law, but residual viral vectors are covered. On the other hand, plasmid, mRNA, virus-like particles, attenuated viruses, gene-edited animals without foreign nucleic acid fragments, self-cloning, natural occurrence, human and culture cells, both genetically modified and non-genetically modified, are not applicable by the law. The Cartagena Act establishes two major rules. Type 1 use, in which GMOs are used in an open environment, and Type 2 use, in which GMOs are used in a closed environment. Type 1 use is a deliberate release, which use GMOs under the rules to minimise the environmental impacts. On the other hand, Type 2 use is a containment use, which use GMOs under the measure to prevent GMOs 
from diffusing into the environment. This slide shows the timing to comply with Cartagena Act in the gene therapy product development. It is necessary to obtain approval from the Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare, MHLW, regarding type 1 use at a medical institution before enrolling the first patient in the clinical trial. When developing GMO, such as viral vectors, confirmation with the MHLW regarding type 2 use is required before the start of manufacturing of the investigational drug at an expanded scale or before the start of process validation lot manufacturing, whichever is earlier.